Before we do any searches on our database, let's populate it with some more data. I'm sure you dislike unnecessary typing as much as I do, and working in PHP my admin is a slow process, so I've provided some more data which you can import from an SQL file. In PHP my admin, click on the import button at the top of the page. Click browse and select initialize movies database.sql in the initialize database folder in the working files. Leave the options unchanged, just check that format is set to SQL and click go. Click on the database and then on the movie's table name and you should see that some spoof movie titles and descriptions have been imported successfully. Click on the favourites and moviegoers tables and you'll see that these two have been populated with data. Now open up Initialize Movies database.sql in Komodo Edit and we'll have a look at its contents. It consists of a series of SQL queries, just as we've been using each one terminated with a semicolon. We could use this in two ways, by importing the file as we've just done, or we could copy the queries and paste them into the SQL command line box. Looking at the first line, drop is the MySQL command used to delete a whole database, so drop database if exists movies deletes the whole database if it exists, so we can start again from scratch. Then, if the database named Movies does not exist, it's created using Create Database If Not Exists Movies. So now we've started again with a database named Movies with no tables in it. Use Movies tells us to get inside that database. It's the equivalent of clicking on the database name in PHP My Admin. So now we don't have to specify the database name anymore. Following that, we redo what we did before in the GUI, creating a table named Movies with Create Table Movies. Then, in parentheses, we specify a comma separated list of fields to create. With a field named Movie underscore ID, which is of data type integer, and has a length of 11. Empty or null values are not allowed, and it's set to auto increment. Comma. Then we set this as the primary key for the table. Comma. That's the end of that field. Then the next field name, title, with data type varchar and a length of 255 as before. Comma. The end of that field and the same for the description field, and close off the parentheses. Then we need to specify the database storage engine to use. We'll use InnoDB, and for the collation, the character encoding, we'll use Unicode, UTF-8. After that, after the table's created, we have an insert into command, just like the one we wrote in the previous lesson but inserting a larger number of records. Just as before, we specify the field names in order, and then we have a comma-separated list of sets of values, each set corresponding to a record. As before, each record is terminated by a comma, except for the last one, which mustn't have a comma. After that, the process is repeated, to create the tables moviegoers and favourites. In the favourites table, we have a list of IDs from the two other tables, which will show which users have which movies as favourites. Now close Komodo Edit and go back to PHP My Admin, and in the next lesson we'll learn how to select particular records according to criteria that we set.